Okay, hi guys, I am here to tell you about a brand new 360 camera that's called the Views XR from the same guys who make the Views and the Views Plus, which are like 3D 360 cameras. Anyway, the Views XR is really exciting for three reasons. Number one, it can shoot in 360 and 180. Number two, it can shoot in 3D when it's in the 180 mode. And number three, it can shoot at 5.7K resolution, which is among the highest of any kind of consumer 360 camera, only the Verb 360 and the Yi 360 VR can do the same. Now, all of these features together make for kind of quite an exciting product as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's definitely the most interesting in 2018. I'm gonna tell you more about it. Um, I'm gonna tell you, uh, well, I'm gonna show you some footage. There's a promo video that's been out and I'm gonna show you some of that. And um, yeah, we'll talk about it and see see what we think about this new camera. I think it's pretty exciting. So the Views XR is a dual lens camera. It's got two lenses and it can switch from 360 mode to 180 mode at just the touch of a button. So as you can see here, um, it just flips it's open if you want to shoot in 180 and at the 180 mode because the two lenses are side by side it can shoot in 3d so stereoscopic video I can never say that word properly but yeah so that's really cool 180 is kind of a uh, alternative to 360 video it's certainly easier to create it's certainly easier to edit you don't need to stitch anything so the fact that it has both of these options in one camera is really really quite cool I think but what makes it kind of exciting for me is the fact that it can shoot in 5.7k um, we've not had a camera that can do that or a new camera that can do that for quite a while so I'm excited to see uh, how good the video is gonna look especially if it can shoot uh, 5.7k in 180 mode if it can maintain that resolution that should make for some pretty sharp video because it's condensing all those pixels instead of in the 360 format it's condensing all of those into just 180 degrees so that should look well the video should look very good obviously resolution isn't the only thing that makes video look good it's also to do with like the quality of the lenses and how the dynamic range how it deals with light and color and all that kind of stuff but um so far, the specs look pretty good. Now, talking about the specs, there hasn't really been that much released um, about the specs in general. They've only kind of said that it can shoot in 5K and that it's got a 180 and 360 mode. However, I do have some more information, a little bit more. Uh, for a start, I can tell you that it can live stream. Um, that's in the promo video. I'm also going to be sent one of the cameras to test out before it's released. So I'll be able to, you know, shoot some video and do a review and just compare it to all the other cameras and see if it's actually worth buying, if it's actually lives up to the hype and see if it's actually going to be a decent camera uh, so yeah I will obviously keep you guys informed and I will upload all the stuff to Instagram YouTube Facebook like I usually do it's said to cost around 400 pounds um, I'm not sure of the dollar value they just send me it in pounds rough it's usually roughly the same that, and that has also not been entirely confirmed what the actual final price is they just said around that price so um, I mean to be honest that's pretty good for a 5k camera that can do all of this other stuff like 3d 180 and 360 uh, that's kind of pretty good value. I mean, the Verb 360 is almost twice as much as that, and the GoPro Fusion is at least a couple of hundred dollars more expensive than that. So those are the kind of comparable ones in terms of resolution. So yeah, it looks to be pretty good value um, just from what I can see here. So let's take a look at the promo video that uh, Views have released. Um, I mean, it's fairly short and obviously it's designed to sell the camera, so take it with a pinch of salt, but let's, I'm just gonna show you it now and then after we'll take a look. Well, we'll talk about what it shows. Go. Okay, so yeah, kind of a short video. It doesn't really show that much. I mean, it shows the camera. I think the design is really, really cool. I really like how that you press the button and the cameras just flip out. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be copying, definitely gonna be copying this guy to do this little pose. Very often, it's, you're gonna be seeing that on Facebook and Instagram more than once, I'm afraid. It looks small enough to fit in your pocket. It looks very pocketable. It looks very, uh, yeah, just small, like most 360 cameras, but some of them you do struggle to fit in your pocket. Some of them are quite big, and especially for a 5K camera, 
Uh, I think that looks to be the smallest one. I'm not sure. Maybe the Yi360 is a little bit smaller. But uh, obviously we'll see when I get it. The design is pretty good. If you want to use it handheld, it seems to just have this grip at the bottom and then the two lenses at the top, which is very good for shooting in 180 because you don't really need to worry about your hands getting in the way as much as you would in 360. It also does seem to have a tripod attachment. There's a photo where they attach it to a mini tripod, so that's good. Uh, that means you can you know, attach it to a selfie stick or a tripod and get out of the way if you want to shoot in 360. So that's awesome. The video also shows um, it being put underwater or at least being used underwater. Now I did ask, but um, they weren't able to tell me whether or not the camera is actually waterproof. Um, they said obviously all the specs will be released in due course, but I mean, considering that they part of their promo video, the camera was underwater, you can either, uh, you know, uh, assume that it is waterproof or that they have a waterproof case. Who's calling me? From Germany. Obviously not confirmed and not actually true yet because I don't actually know. That's just me um, inferring from the video. What else do I infer? They also show a little bit of the app that I assume is going to be for the Views XR. Um, it shows that you can add filters and it shows you can add some animations. The video also shows some movement from like a flat to a tiny planet, you know, like zooming out. So um, hopefully that's done in the app and you can just do that straight away. So it's like a reframing kind of app similar to GoPro and uh, the Rilo and that kind of stuff. Now, one thing that's not mentioned and that I did ask about, but they didn't tell me yet, is whether it has any stabilization because I personally think that's one of the most important things for a 360 camera to have is some software stabilization so that if you move, it's not shaking or at least the horizon is level because it's so annoying when it's not. Looking at the video, um, I'm assuming at least some of the footage in the video is shot with the camera. It seems to be pretty stable even when it's moving. So I'm hoping that it does. Um, I mean, I'm gathering from a video that it does and that they know that that's important. So obviously not confirmed yet, but I will let you know as soon as I find out. So that's it, I guess. Uh, that's the Views XR, new 360 camera. There's plenty out there right now, but I do think that this one does look really, really cool. Uh, basically, for a well, while, I've said it already, it can shoot in 5.7K. 180 and 360 um, and yeah and in 3D and views are have a lot of experience in 3D the lot their past two cameras the views and the views plus were the first kind of affordable ish cameras to uh, 360 cameras to shoot in 3D so they have some experience there I actually have the views plus and uh, they sent it to me a few weeks ago and I'm testing it now and that's kind of like a prosumer it's quite expensive but it can shoot in 3D and it's got some like live streaming features and stuff so they do have quite a lot of experience <laughs> Who's calling me again? So they do have some experience in developing cameras that can shoot in 3D and cameras that can live stream. So hopefully those aspects of the Views XR work pretty well. Okay, so that's it. I think this camera looks cool. Um, I'm gonna keep you updated, obviously, when I get more information and when I get the actual camera itself. So in the meantime, follow me on Instagram because I will be posting any kind of news and any images and anything else that I get about this camera on there. So uh, check out the link below and you can hit me up on Instagram and follow me there. Also, you can check out my website, uh, 360cameras.com. I've posted all the specs and all the, the promo video there and everything else that I think about this camera if you prefer to read about it rather than listen to me. If you wanna see some more stuff, I have posted it on my website. And yeah, feel free to subscribe to this channel if you wanna know more and you wanna be the first to see some more footage from this camera. So yeah, um, that's it. That's all the re requests I have. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.